the Supreme Court has banned the use of race and ethnicity in university admissions, dealing a major blow to affirmative action policies. The practice has been used for decades to boost the educational opportunities for African Americans and other minorities in the US. Covering this is Ketavan Gorgistani. She's our Washington correspondent. She's with me now. Ketavan, just explain to us how the Supreme Court reached this decision. Well, the, the Supreme Court and the conservative majority of the Supreme Court, it's a 6-3 uh, decision, uh, ruled that affirmative action violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment and therefore uh, said that these uh, universities and uh, colleges could no longer uh, use explicitly the factor of race in uh, their admissions uh, process. Now, this is overturning a, a decades-long precedent. Affirmative action really uh, has been uh, upheld and decided uh, for decades, several times uh, in recent decades, for uh, over 40 years. So this is going back on four decades of precedent. And uh, this uh, decision and this uh, opinion was uh, written by the Chief Justice uh, Roberts. And he said in that opinion uh, that eliminating racial discrimination means eliminating all of this. So uh, the legal argument is the Equal Protection Clause, but uh, the moral argument, according according to the Chief Justice, is uh, that uh, they cannot use discrimination if they want to eliminate discrimination in the United States as a whole. And therefore, uh, they need to do this uh, in another way in promoting diversity, uh, helping those minorities get into these schools cannot be done based solely on uh, the factor of race. Uh, this case was actually brought uh, by uh, people who said that affirmative actions was unfairly discriminating against against Asian Americans and white Americans in favor of black and uh, Latino uh, Americans. In a dissent, though, uh, the uh, Justice uh, Sonia Sotomayor said that this uh, would have a devastating impact on U.S. society. And Ketavan, I suppose the big question now is what does this mean for American universities? Well, they will no longer be able, for example, to have a box where you check your race when you apply to a university or a college. But there was uh, something uh, very clear that was written by Chief Justice Roberts in uh, that opinion. He said uh, that uh, these, uh, this uh, opinion uh, would not prevent uh, universities from considering uh, applicants who uh, possibly can discuss the influence, the consequence of race on their lives, the impact of race on their lives. So race neutral uh, elements will be able to be taken into account, which will possibly result in taking into account race, but not directly. I'll give you just one example. When you apply to a, a US a college, uh, you often have to write an essay explaining why you would be a good fit for the university, what in your life makes you a great candidate. And in those essays, often, especially uh, people who come from minority communities, talk about uh, the influence of race. These things are still going to be able to be used. But uh, that said, in states where affirmative action has already been banned, like California and Michigan, they have seen diversity numbers drop drastically in the past years. Ketavan Gorgistani in Washington, thank you very much indeed for explaining a little uh, of that story coming out of the United States today.